Good evening. Today we're looking at PHUN. This is a stock that is down today. We're falling by about 4% when we look at this one on the one day. And into after hours right now, it has only just begun, but you are seeing after hours is up. So the question is, what has happened both today with this stock? How's the trend looking now on the past five day as well? And ultimately, where are we going going forwards? Because yeah, we are down today, of course. But look at this dip that we were seeing uh, yesterday. We've had a bit of a rise from that, like I did mention in yesterday's video. And coming into today, we are falling by 3%. But after after this growth that we have seen it's not the biggest thing in the world in my personal opinion and now to see us sit in this four dollar range is fairly good now i want to talk about all of that and more in this video so make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so it's completely free to like it like it it's completely free to subscribe but do remember of course i am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice i definitely think that you should consult a professional before making any decisions and of course do be aware of the very, very high risk nature of this investment. It does carry quite a lot of risk with it, and it is important to inform you guys of that before we go any further. Now, the third and final thing that I want to remind you of is the fact that we are doing a fundraiser right now for Save the Children. So if you can donate, 100% of the funds do go straight towards Save the Children. So far, we've managed to raise $315.00. It is amazing. Let's try to get up to $350. We're not too far away from that. Let's hope that we can have a couple more donations, bring us up to $350, and hopefully on to our goal of at least 1000 raised by Christmas. Again, 100% of the funds do go straight towards them. So if you can donate, you'll be making a very positive difference to the least fortunate in our world. Now that I have reminded you of that, though, we're going to jump into the video, and we're going to start off on the simple chart and just quickly, quickly break down today's trend. So not too much to talk about overall today you can see our open up price of 550 uh, of sort of 457 i should say uh, from that point we dropped a little bit we did have our initial spike which brought us up to this point at 473 but yeah then we saw a drop which was down here this took us down to the 431 range and really this was our low of the day now we did actually touch this point again later on around here but we'll talk about this more in just a moment but yeah, from the bit of consolidation as we did take another rise and then we saw a high of the day, which was well up here, you know, just touching $5 uh, almost exactly so really we did break past five dollars today we didn't manage to find that support there so we did come back down and then we started to uh, see lows down here in the 444s which is really good because from that point we did have some volatility we did have some moves but realistically towards the end of the day we did have quite a lot of consolidation and yeah it was really quite a good day when we look at phun of course we are down and of course from the highs on the stock we are down significantly so it does look like not so much of a good scenario but as i did say at the time Time, guys all the way from this point onwards I said this stock was not the best buy and I still do believe that up until this point at that point it wasn't the best stock to buy now right now as I have said I was waiting to look for the best point to enter the stock and whilst it is unclear as to where that point will be I do think that we are coming into a territory now where I am becoming more comfortable to say that PHUN is looking good on a technical basis again it's just my personal opinion it's just what I believe but I think this one is becoming stronger and stronger from a technical standpoint and that does make me very very happy so now let's have a breakdown of the technical indicators and just a quick read of those over the past day. So when we have a quick look at them, we can see we are not too far off them. What I'm going to do first though is remove the Bollinger Bands and you can see now our moving average. So the one day moving average is on 444.84, just a little bit higher than where we are and that is because we had that little dip towards the very end of day. Now the dip itself, not too big of a deal in my opinion because do bear in mind uh, people could have potentially swing traded this one uh, from the lows of yesterday and they could have been taking profit towards the end of today's session and I think that definitely could have accounted for the small drop but either way it's not too big of a deal e anyway and I think you know it's not something that we should play too much importance into however it certainly has affected a few of our indicators uh, another one which it has affected is going to be our RSI figure that's this line down here so the RSI figure is on 34. This is actually a little bit low. It's 14 points away from being oversold. So yeah, we do still have some room to move down. It's not too bad. However, we do want this one to start climbing up a bit more. But being as it is a one-day data, it's not too significant in my personal opinion. And volume for today is looking a little bit low. Now, as you would expect, we had our big volume time up here where we had this big spike up. Uh, we had relatively good volume for quite a while and it was mainly bullish volume, but we did have a few bearish candles in there as well. Past five day data is also looking interesting right now. 
again, what I said yesterday and what I still do believe is where are we going to find the new support for the stock? We don't really have that data, especially when you look back over the past three months. We don't really have a recent level of support at this range to refer to. Yes, we could start talking about this point that we have seen just a couple of days ago. But of course, this is a stock that has shot up, it's come back down, and it's definitely not going as low as it, as it previously was. I still do believe that it will stay higher than it previously was, because now a lot more people know about the stock, and a lot more people are holding the stock. So I do believe that the new level of support is going to be higher. But what we're trying to establish into the next week or so, are we going to find this as our bottom? Is this going to be our new level of support in the uh, high $3 range slash the low $4 range? Is that where we're going to find support from now on? Or are we going to potentially see pushes lower? Again, I would love to see us see some support at that 390 range and upwards. But again, the next few days will tell us that for sure and show us where the trend is going. But coming back to the five day chart, one thing that you'll see on this time period is that we're sat on an RSI figure of 42, which is fairly good because this is only eight points away from neutral. It's not too bad, especially accounting for the dip that we have had most recently. But yeah, that's looking fairly good. The trend for the MACD is quite flat to be honest, but is ever so slightly towards the bearish side. Again, not too significant in my opinion because of how low it is, but it's just looking uh, a little bit bearish. Now, come out to the past month, and this is where we get our most important data, in my opinion, as we can see the trend on a wider scale. So, we can see one thing is clear our volume figure today is at 55 million. Now, what we have down on the very bottom here is we have our day candlesticks in volume. So, these are volume figures that we have been seeing over time. And you will see that our highest volume, as you may expect, was on this day where we had our big spike up to $20 plus. But apart from that, we have seen high volume, you know, both here, here as well. But over time, volume has been decreasing. Now, yesterday, we saw very, very high volume as well. It was nowhere near as high as what we have seen previously back here. But we did definitely see relatively good volume compared to our low days. And again, the question which I was asking is, will volume stay back into the stock? And will we see volume go back up again tomorrow? And of course, today is what tomorrow was in that video. And the volume has actually gone down, which is not what we like to see. Because volume is ultimately going to be a driver of price, in my opinion, when it comes to this stock. And again, on the one month... Uh, we can see we're looking at an RSI figure of 58. It's a little bit high still because we are coming back from that drop, but it's still looking okay. And the trend for the MACD is actually mixed because you'll see the red candlesticks are coming into this one right now, which is definitely an early indication of a bearish trend. But over the past two or three days, these candlesticks are not really becoming more intense. They're just sitting on a flat line, not becoming more bearish, just staying where they are. And subsequently, these lines are coming very, very close to crossing over. But every single time that they come very close, you will see we're not really having the volume to bring us down, which means that they remain quite neutral. Still, you know, 50-50 between bullish and bearish. So this trend could go either way, according to the MACD. We could start to see some moves upwards, or we could start to see that, you know, consolidation, if not some move downwards. But it all does depend, like I said, on the interest involved in the stock. When I say interest, I mean people buying the stock, people holding the stock. I'm just people, you know, continuing to send the price uh, higher, if not leaving it where it is. Now, what I have always said with PHUN from the beginning, it was always going to be a very, very speculative play, and it still is. It is a big gamble. It depends on a few things happening, you know, both from retail and from the company behind it, and, you know, as far as Catalyst as well. So it definitely could go either way, but from where I'm standing, I would not be looking to invest in this company. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm talking investment as in a long term. However, I do see the potential of this stock being a fairly decent trade, but again, it is also high risk. So I, th I think for this one, if I was looking to buy into it, I would be looking to do more of a swing trade, i.e. buy in now and sell out in a couple of weeks or months, depending on how things do go. But like I said, it is definitely something that does carry quite a lot of risk, as this is more of a gamble stock in my opinion opinion. So tell me what you guys have to say down below. I think the charts are looking a bit stronger for PHUN. What we really want to see now is this one to move back up. Yes, we are moving down today, but it's not by a big number, so I'm fairly okay with that. And again, looking at it from the lows, we are still up, which is good. Now we're, we're trying to find that level of consolidation and hopefully that push up. Again, a break past $5 would be fantastic. We have found a previous support at 5 before. Can we find that to be our next level of support after a push up? It's definitely possible, but like I said, it does depend on that volume coming back in and people continuing to buy the stock. So tell me your opinions, guys. I want to hear them in the comments. Now I'm going to tell you all about our Discord server. Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. 
So on your screen, you'll be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from members members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon